In this video, we're going to get you started using Canva. Welcome to another video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Carrillo, aka EdTechBytes. And if you're anything like me, you're into educational technology and food. So make sure that you, if you're into those two things, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share this video and all the other videos that are available on this channel. And like I said, make sure that you are subscribed so that you get notified when new videos like this are published. Let's get started using Canva. So all I have done here is gone to canva.com and I'm gonna go ahead and click login because I have an account. If you don't have an account, then simply click sign up. Same process. And we're gonna continue with Google. If you are signing up for the first time, there is a sign up with Google. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my email address and I'm gonna get logged in. Basics of Canva. That's all we're doing in this video. So. Here's the layout. There's a bunch of different templates that you can start with. They have docs and whiteboards and all that stuff, but we're for the sake of this particular video, create a presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create a design and I'm gonna go ahead and type in presentation, but you can type in whatever you like. More than likely they have the template that you're looking for with the correct size. And I'm gonna choose a 16 by nine ratio presentation. Now that we are in our presentation, let's kind of go over the different menu options here on the left. We are by default in our design um, and you can choose different pre-made designs. You can also choose different layouts and styles. You can peruse through and see what you like. Under that, we have elements. These are objects, if you wanna call them, things that you can add into your presentation. You can do searches for different things and we're gonna do one right now in a bit. You can also create your own brand. So if you have Canva Pro, Canva Pro or one of the educational accounts, if you work for a school district that's registered with Canva, then you have access to this and you can create your own brand with your own colors and templates and things like that. That way you're not recreating everything from scratch every single time. Here in the upload section is where you can upload your own pictures and videos from your computer, your hard drive, your mobile device, iPad, whatever you have uh, available to you. You can upload your own images in that here. Here's where you can add text. They now have a cool draw feature with pencils and markers and highlighters and all that stuff that's available. And then here's kind of like your folder structure with your projects. There's a couple more things down here, which we won't get into too much because like I said, this video is just about the basics of getting started with Canva. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna go to elements. So for this particular presentation, I want to pre create a presentation, like an end of the year presentation for my students. So I am going to maybe look for something that has to deal with a school. So I'm gonna type in school and there's a bunch of different things that I can choose from here. They're broken down into categories right now. It's showing me all both graphics, videos, photos, and all the other different media types, but you can choose specific ones. So there's graphics. If I wanted to only view photos, I can do that with that filter. I can also pull in some videos and you'll notice that there are some elements that have crowns. Those crowns mean that they are an upgrade. However, like I said, if you do have the educational edition, then more than likely you have access to those. So you can filter by each one of these media types. I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna to go to graphics and I'm gonna use this one here. There we go. And with this particular, you'll see that I, all I did was pull it in and it snaps to the middle, which is something I really like. So now I've got my school and, and let's say I wanted to add some text to this saying, so I'm gonna click on the text, I'm gonna click on add a heading here, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in what I want to put in my text. So let's get ready for summer. And I can now click on that text element, object, whatever you wanna call it, and I can move it around. I can mess with the size. I can center it just like anything here. And there's a bunch of different fonts that you could choose from. So if I click on the actual text, I can go through their fonts and choose the one that best fits my particular style. Same thing with text color. There's a lot more things that we can do here, but let's just stick to this for right now. And I'm gonna add somewhat of a sky background. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go back to elements and type in sky. And I really like this one here. So I'm going to add that in and you'll see that it put it on the top layer. If I'm clicked on that particular object, that particular element, I can go to position and I've got different ways of arranging it. I'm going to move it to the very back layer. There we go. And now I can minimize this so that it is kind of making my own background here. And let's say that lastly, I think we're missing a sun here, especially if we're talking about summer. Let's go ahead and add a sun. I like this one here, but I don't want the whole thing. I just kind of want it out here like that. I like that gradient that it has. Perfect. So now let's say for this presentation, I was going to add like a next page, a second page. I can click on this add page button and I can continue with my presentation. So those are the very quick, basic things that you can do with Canva. You've got your different design options here. You have your elements. You can upload your own pictures and text and add that stuff in there and then have your presentation, graphic, whatever it is that you are trying to work on, you can have that ready to go. There's one last thing we need to do before we end this though. Let's go ahead and give this a title. So it'll automatically title based on the text that you add in. I just happen to add in that text. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and let's say I'm gonna do 2023 end of year presentation. That's crazy. I can't believe we're already at the end of 2023. And this little checkbox here means that all save changes have been saved. If you get a little paranoid like me, you can always go file, save as well, and your project is now saved. You can then exit back to Canva, and you will see that if you do a quick refresh, your presentation will show up here. The preview thumbnail might not be showing, but if I was to click on that, there's my presentation. So that's how you can quickly and easily get started using Canva. Go to canva.com, log in. If you have a Microsoft or Google account, go ahead and choose one of those options. Go in there, create some sort of presentation or project, play around with the different features that are available to you within Canva. And then in the next video, we're going to show you what to do after you're done with your presentation. So thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen, for peeping this video out. If you enjoyed what you just saw, make sure you comment, like, share the video, and also don't forget to subscribe. That way you get notified when new videos like this are published. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, get started using Canva, creating for you and others, and buen provecho.